Hello, hello, friends. I somehow lost my intro video. We are at Key Training Thrift in Lakanto, and it is 50% off of everything. So super excited to go in here. I haven't been here in a while. This is a pretty big store. So I think we should be able to find some good stuff. We got to get a buggy. Step one. All right, I had to climb in here. <laughs> this is like a little cubby. And I saw a golf club head cover back here. And I am stand, every, what I'm standing in looks lo just like what you see down there below. It's, <laughs> I'm like precariously in this cubby hole. But look at this. Really, really nice FSU golf club head cover. And it's $4, so it'll only be 2 so we're going to grab it. All right, they have got some dish sets here, but none of them look like they're worth much. You know I love tumblers. If I drank wine, I would probably get those tumblers. Look at these cute Margaritaville tumblers. But it, and it looks like it's new, but $7.50 is still a little more than I want to pay. So, if you don't know, I used to do resin projects, and if I still was doing it, these would be amazing deals, but I, I'm going to resist. But look at this amazing hand-painted sand dollar. It will only be three with the discount, so we are definitely going to get that. I love hand-painted kind of folk art work and that'd be perfect in a beach house or a beach themed house. We'll see what else we can see. They have lots and lots of collectibles here. This face said made in China. I think that's kind of a newer reproduction. I don't typically pick up a bunch of oriental stuff even though a lot of it is worth quite a bit of money, unless you have the knowledge, it's very, very hard to know the real from reproduction. So I do tend to stay away from that. Look at this cool bell pepper pot. So it's $45, it'd be $22.50 with the discount, but it's only worth about $35, so I did decide to leave it. And we're going to check out some artwork. I love, love, love how they have their artwork here. So I'm going to move my cart. That way we have room. So it is these little flip panels. And it's really, really neat. They're like, it's like a giant book. And I love the setup. So we'll see what we see in here. I'm trying to kind of back up so you guys can see it along with me. But artwork can be very, very profitable. Don't be scared to ship it. You just have to pack it very, very well and find a really big box. A lot of times uh, TV boxes work very well. Look at this. This is signed and it's actually a print. I think from the 70s or 80s and it's signed. Beautiful starfish. So back here, it says 1982. So really, really cool. Again, kind of beach house decor. And we will definitely get that one. I was being careful of the sand dollar there. And we'll see what else we can see. And I always look through their art here. I wish other stores had it because I'm not great at kind of flipping through when they have them all in a pile. But this way, I can see them all easily. Look at how pretty this is. Really, really nice landscape scene. And it looks like this one will only be $3 with the discount. So we're going to pick that one up as well. We are finding some good stuff really early. So that's got to be a good sign. And Elena is here. This is the last store for now that Elena is shopping with us. But she is here somewhere. We will we will find her. Her and I are driving separate, so we arrive at different times. 
Let's see what's up here. Look at this. So this is the diamond dot art, which takes forever to do. Beautiful sunflowers. And it's actually only $4 with the discount. This thing took somebody a long, long time to make. So I'm going to get that. And there's another one up here. Look at this with the weeping willow in the pond. How fantastic is this? $4 each for those. I think that is an amazing, amazing price. Very, very happy with those. And we'll see if we can find anything else here. Look at this. This is a sampler. And it looks like it's only going to be $2. How incredible. Beautiful vintage cross stitch. $4. Only $2 for this amazing, amazing piece. Look at this. I told you guys I want to start finding some lamps. This is like a mid-century modern mushroom wicker lamp. I'm trying to find the price on it. A lot of times they write them on the tag here, so, or on the plug, I mean. So let's look and see. Maybe we can see the price on that plug. I'm like, there's got to be a price somewhere. Look at this, $10. So this is only $5 with the discount. We are going to pick this lamp up for sure. I think that's a really good find. I did pick up that thermal printer, and I actually, I ended up giving that to Elena because she needed one versus keeping it for resale. I would rather it go to use than me just make a little bit of profit on it. Look at all of these collectibles. So when I was here last, it was probably eight months ago, they had some amazing Royal Dalton glasses. And I'm wondering if they're still here because they were priced a little high even though they do sell really good, we're going to look and see if maybe they're still here. It's been close to a year. And look, they are still here. How amazing. So they're marked 40 and they're only going to be 20. And they are worth about 80 to 100. And they actually are new with the stickers on the bottom. And that is an incredible, incredible deal. <laughs> we will figure out where to put all this stuff because we are just starting. This might be a long shopping trip, my friends, because we are finding all of the good stuff today. I walked out for one minute. All right. The little Cayman Islands doll. This is a little gingerbread little bear I think we will leave him I don't pick up a ton of plush or dolls but I do give them a look we'll see if we see anything else so this little guy caught my eye he's Bubba for president but he is marked 20 so he's only, he's going to be 10, but he's only worth about 15. So be careful with vintage. Look, we found Elena and a lamp, an amazing lamp that Elena is getting. How great is that lamp? I think it was only like $10. So me and Elena both found lamps today. These gloves felt really nice, but I looked them up and I couldn't find any. So I decided to leave them there. All right, so here is a lesson, my friends. This collectible plate is in a very nice frame. And while the plate in the frame might not be worth much, these frames sell for about $10 to $15 each. And I'm looking to make sure it's the right name. And I will show you at the end. But we are going to pick these up just for those frames. see what else we can find. Elena had to help me. I had to put my plates in Elena's buggy. So because I was out of space, but Elena 
Elena had a little bit of space in her buggy, but she's got a lot of stuff in her buggy too. So where did Elena put her lamp? Maybe she didn't get the lamp. I thought she did get the lamp, but maybe she didn't. Elena, you have to let us know in the comments if you got the lamp. I think you did. Get, I think she did get the lamp. Look at this monkey. So she was trying to convince me to buy that monkey, but he was a little bit too high priced. And here, this almost looks like a recycled glass bowl, but that pontal on the bottom was really rough. So I did decide to leave that one. I really, really like this strawberry planter. I thought about getting it. Dalton and I are growing some strawberries in our garden, but I decided to leave that strawberry planter. Let's see if we can find any purses here today. And they have quite a few, as you see. That one's kind of a mesh, but I think that one's newer. That one was $6. Here is kind of a quilted one, but it, the this one was handmade, but the interior finish was not done very well. So that one I am going to leave and we'll see if we see any scarves or gloves or hats. There's all kinds of things up here. I think Elena found some fabric in this um, stack. I did not look through the fabric that day. I do look at fabric sometimes, but I didn't this day. It's a really cool woven purse, but they had it at $9. I think it's more like a little makeup bag and it was made in China. So we decided to pass on that one. We'll see, let's see. And their purse pricing is sporadic here. Some of them I find for really good prices and then some are a little too high. All right, they have more collectibles. There are collectibles everywhere. These are really neat and they're signed. They have like hammered copper and wood. I ended up leaving them, but let me know if you think I should have got them. I couldn't really find anything like them and I think it's because it's handmade art and they're all signed. This bigger one was six, and I think the smaller was either four or five. There was a set of three of them. Let's see what we see here. Some little Mikasa coasters. I, I think I ended up putting those back because, well, the pattern was kind of plain. So I put them in my cart, but I'm pretty sure I did put those back. So many goodies to look at. Little star trinket dish. Now these were Johnson Brothers. Those kind of, they do okay. And I'm gonna look at them a little closer. I was getting out of somebody's way. Um, but the sell through rate's not fast, so they take a little bit longer to sell. So I, I really love Ironstone and the whole set would be $17.50. So it's actually close to a dollar a piece, but I think I'm going to leave them because they do take a bit longer to sell. San Pietro Roma. We are not getting the bell. So this Covington is new with the tag and it's a dollar. So I'm not sure how that brand does, but since it's new with the tag, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it since it's only a dollar. And we actually, I don't think we end up getting a ton of clothes. You guys get a lot of collectibles today. Look at this basket. I don't know how, this basket is only priced a dollar. It is absolutely beautiful. I think it's probably only worth 20 to 25, but for a dollar, I'm gonna pick that up. Here's a foot joy. 
that one's only a dollar and that's a really nice foot joy pullover so we do really really well with golf clothes both women's and men's and so i always am on the lookout for those and i'm not in an overly dig through clothes kind of mood this is al agnew that one's kind of faded i think we'll leave that one I'm not seeing much in these today. We're throwing bras on the floor. This one is the Victoria's Secret pink. And again, this is the same store. All of their stores, the clothes are a dollar unless marked. So that Victoria's Secret for a dollar, I think, is a great deal. And I told you guys, I've, I've been on this bra kick here lately. I'm not, <laughs> not really sure why. I, I go through phases. If you watch me for a long time, you know. And then if I get bored with something, I kind of go on to something else. And right now, it's bras. All right, look at this. This is giant. So this is $10. It is a church cathedral latch hook rug hanging and it's only five dollars with the discount so we're gonna roll this bad boy up and <laughs> stuff it in the cart we will find room for all of the things and look at this cute little welcome kitty cat it's three dollars so only a dollar fifty isn't this a cute little welcome tapestry with the kitty cats i like that one and here are their scrubs. We'll see if we can find any scrubs in here. We'll, we'll squeeze. We got to squeeze in to fit in these aisles. And here I go pulling clothes off again. Every time. Never fails. This scrub top looks really nice, but I don't see a brand on that. So if I don't see a tag, I am not picking up clothing the only exception to that is going to be handmade or vintage pieces that i can put measurements other than that we're probably not going to pick them up because clothing without sizes can be a little bit harder to sell they've got quite a few scrubs here but i i actually oh i just saw that mickey mouse one how did i miss that thing Look at this. This is for Dalton. This is a Banana Republic Marina wool argyle. How cute. It, Dalton will be fabulous in that in the winter. And really, really high quality. That one actually probably has some value. But I am going to keep that for Dalton because I think it'll be close to his size for winter. Look at that. New Scrub Star pants. They had an $18 tag. So for a dollar... I will definitely pick them up. Oh, I did look at the Minnie Mouse and I just passed it right by. I don't know why. Don't know what I was thinking. I'm also, my daughter needs certain colors of scrubs for nursing school. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for them for her. That she needs that navy blue and then a lighter blue. But those weren't her size. So we're on the, the hunt for scrub pants for her. Because scrubs new can be very, very expensive. So this is the other color blue, that lighter. But those were way too big. She's pretty small. That was an empty hanger that fell. I don't know what was on it previously. This is white swan. I don't think those were scrub pants though. So I think we're going to leave those. We're going to look at the bras again. <laughs> because why not? Right? Right. Told you. Bra kick. Now we are going to look at some nightgowns. And I think somehow my video, <laughs> my video clips are out of order. Look at this. Colette by Miss Elaine. 
really, really nice house coat or robe. That one is a great one. Let's see what else we see. This one looks so soft. I don't know why I didn't get that one. This one, look at this. This one is Ashley Taylor. Really pretty kind of small floral print with the little embroidery. We are definitely going to grab that one. And this is a vintage Fruit of the Loom girdle. I know some brands do well. Not sure about that one, but I'm definitely willing to chance it for a dollar. And here, look at this. This is another really nice Cacique bra. We found a nice Cacique bra last week. This is another one in excellent condition. So we're going to get that one as well. That Reebok probably was worth picking up, but I didn't see a size on it. So I think we will leave this one. But sports bras tend to be good. I'm like hunting for the size, but I am not seeing it. Look at this Simply Southern magical little unicorn hat. So cute. Let's look at some more collectibles. This is a little studio pottery piece. This one is cute. I don't, I don't know that that one would sell though. Elena's finding a mug over there. Look at this little girl. She was cute. Let's see if we see anything else. We are filling the card up slowly but surely, as we pretty much always do. And I love that they have so many collectibles. And these, again, the last weekend of the month, the key training thrift stores, the whole store is 50% off except for clothes, which their clothes are only a dollar though. So if you live near any of these, definitely check it out and see if yours have the 50% off. And I know when I was in Clearwater, the key training thrift there, they have a 50% off coupon in the booklet at the front of the store. So you get 50% off any day there, which is absolutely great. But I don't think they have the dollar close there. That little terrine was cute, but I don't think a ton of value on that. I was showing Elena, look at these bottles. I think they're vintage. They're little, cute little bottles. I don't know what you would do with them. Tell me if you guys would have got them. They were $10 for the whole bag. But again, not, not sure. I didn't see any markings on the bottom. That's why I lifted them up. For me, eh? you guys taught me this is a yogurt cup. And it's not worth money, so I'm going to put it back. But it's a really cute little cup. Some milk glass. This one's for, that one's probably worth about 12 to 15 And Elena's finding some nice brass pieces here. Nice vase. Look at this. Beautiful Venezia tapestry purse this one's really really nice i was making all kinds of friends <laughs> throughout the store <laughs> we were we were all talking which is fun i did not know them she had her buggy as full as my buggy and she actually <laughs> checked out in front of me and i i asked the cashier if she was ready for another full buggy Look at all of these vases. If you ever need vases, please go to thrift stores and rescue them. You can find like all shapes and sizes, mostly just clear ones typically. But if you need vases, go to the thrift store. That's where Dalton and I like to get our vases.
this thing, it says it's a collector's cabinet for like needlepoint art. And I looked it up and there was only one other one listed and it was bigger than that one. It was listed for like a hundred dollars and that one's only two dollars with the discount. So I think it's worth taking a chance on. Elena told me the stick was missing something that I didn't notice. So I decided to leave that one. a cute little studio pottery piece but it had a big chip there on the lid unfortunately look at this zoo tampa a 3d animal one it's only two dollars with the discount so i think i'll get that for jenny for flying pig thrift's daughter okay you had to you had to know you are not getting out of the store without me looking at the cups right because I have to look at the cups. I did put that one cup back though. This bottle's kind of cool. Don, Don Julio. And somebody put some really cute little charms on it. That one's three. It's actually, they actually look like they sell okay for about $15. But I don't want to pack that glass up for $15. That one's old time pottery. They've got so much stuff. There go the dogs. I think a delivery truck must be here. So, so much to look at in here. There's my new friend again. This one's really pretty, but it's kind of rough. Um, that's why I left that one. The finish was not great on that one. I have another one of these bells and it hasn't sold. So even though I absolutely love, love Southwestern stuff, I am going to behave and put that back. I'm trying not to pick up stuff that I know will take a long time to sell. I do still pick up some stuff that takes a little bit longer because most of these stores don't have great signal. However, if I know it takes a long time, I'm trying to be disciplined enough to put it back. Even if I like it, like that bell, because I really like that bell. These are little natural beeswax candles. This one says it's for ambiance. And then there's another one. Looks like they're $1.50 each. The other one says it's for relaxing. I think I'm going to try these. They smell kind of okay. I'm not sure if I'll like them, but candles are expensive. So if I can find candles for a good price, we will grab them. This is really cool. It's actually a candle. Um, that black had kind of smudged on the outside a lot, though. How cute is this thing? Somebody hand-painted this little heart box. And the inside's even painted. This is super cute. We, we have got to get this little box. This is some cute, cute art on that. Look at all of the clear glass. I feel like you could like be hypnotized by this. But look at what I see. Do you see what I see? Recycled glass, cobalt blue rim. It's it's 250 on sale, but the last time I picked up some tumblers of this, they sold really fast. So I think we're going to get these. So we're paying $7.50 for the set. And I think we should be able to get at least $40, if not a little bit more. So if you see the recycled glass with the cobalt blue rims, those really tend to sell pretty fast. So I would pick them up if you find them. I think the last set we had was a set of four. All right, look at this. 
save water drink wine this is hand painted and it's like a quarter so i think i have to get this so if you're a wine drinker and you appreciate art let me know because that's a really cute cup these i was on the fence i think these are vintage libby's i did end up leaving them Look at these 3D Las Vegas mugs. I feel like these were probably mass produced. So I'm going to leave them. There are actually two there. That Bull Mastiff Mom. That mug might have been worth picking up. And there's a strawberry. I'm trying to fit them back in where they were. Look at all of the coffee mugs. She was finding tons of clear glass. I think she had a project. This one's really pretty. It's sterling on crystal. I looked those up though and they don't sell for a ton. And that one was pretty, but I only saw a single one of that one. Look at how full her buggy is. She found lots of good stuff. All right, what else do we see? Bubba Gump. Daytona Beach. This one's probably worth about 15 but again, with glass stuff, I really, I don't, I don't want to ship it for 15 I feel like this glass might have been something, but I'm not sure. If you know, let me know what that glass was. So this, my friends, is a Chantilly Lane. These bears have like flat bottoms. This one was in pretty poor condition, but if you see these things, pick them up. They're, they're worth some money. All right, we had to get one Tervis tumbler. So my mother-in-law likes horses. Hopefully she doesn't watch this video. I think I'm going to pick that one up for her for Christmas and try and put it up. My husband thinks I'm crazy buying Christmas stuff in April, but I think if you buy Christmas presents throughout the year, then you're not rushing when Christmas time comes. So tell me if you do the same thing, especially if you're at thrift stores and can find good deals on nice stuff that you think would be perfect for someone and your family. And there are way too many pots and none stuck out. So we're going to leave those. We're going to look at the linen. Look at this cool bread basket liner. That one was really neat. I like this, but for me, the round doilies tend to sell better. Those oblong, I don't do very well with. Look at how pretty this placemat is. It looks like it's Edie, Edie something home. And there are two of them. I think these are absolutely beautiful placemats. They were $1.50 each, so 75 cents on the sale. That butterfly towel is a little bit faded. Look at these. I love Southwestern woven stuff. This looks like it's like a small uh, tablecloth, I think, or maybe like a centerpiece for the table. And I think maybe these are the placemats that go with it. That's what I think we've got going on here really nice so we'll pick up that set of three you gotta dig today I do feel like digging at least a little bit these are really nice look at the reverse the stripes on these these are great placemats and there's a set of four. So I think we will grab those as well. And I think we are about done shopping. So it's time for me to head to checkout and then come back to you with a recap of everything we got. All right, this is one of the best hauls I've had in a while. I got this gorgeous hand painted sand dollar. These still have their tags. They are Royal Dalton wine goblets. Look at this with the church. I only paid $5 for this latch hook rug. 
And then this one, I think I'm going to send to Jenny, Dagny Flying Pig Thrift's daughter. Really cool 3D one. Some recycled Mexican glass. I love, okay, we're trying the lamps. This is a mushroom mid-century modern wicker lamp. I got the basket for a dollar. Save water, drink wine with the fish. These plates I bought really for the frames. So a lot of your collector's plates are not worth a lot. But these frames, if you ever see these, um, it is Van, Van Juan and Smythe. I, they sell very fast and the six of them should sell for about $60 and I think I paid, I paid like 10 or 15 for all of these. This is a really cool vintage print, but it's like 3D. That one is a nice vintage one. I got this one. We picked up some art. Look at this. This was painted in 1995, but how cute is this little kind of like trinket keepsake box the collector's cabinet there was only one other of this listed and it was listed really high so it goes like this to display and what did I pay for this thing where is it oh four dollars and it was half off so two I got two of the really pretty diamond dots finished not sure if those will be a good pickup but they are absolutely beautiful and they were only four dollars each I got a Tervis, probably for my mother-in-law. I'm going to hide that away for Christmas. Colette by Miss Elaine. Look at this. This is, I'm going to kidnap this. This one is for Dalton. Gorgeous little merino wool sweater. Ashley Taylor, Vintage Vanity Fair. This one is a Vintage Fruit of the Loom. Scrub Star, New Pants, Welcome Flag. I found another Cacique bra. I've been finding a lot of them. This one is a Victoria's Secret pink. Look at this. So this one I think was only $4. It is a vintage cross stitch sampler. Absolutely beautiful. I got the throw blanket, the Florida Seminoles golf club head cover, bread basket, liner, the kitty cat welcome, placemats, beautiful woven runner, these are some more placemats. These are Edie Rose Home. These are really pretty. There were only two. Uh, Venezia tapestry bag. It's wine o'clock somewhere. This is a apron. Foot Joy shirt. Covington polo. And that is it, if that's not enough. So everything was 50% off at this store the last weekend of every month. The whole store is 50% minus the clothes. And I think we got some good stuff. So if you're interested, let me know. The Nurse Flipper at Yahoo.com. And I will see you on the next one.